guys, it's Jessica. And today I'm gonna to share with you a whole bunch of reviews of things that I have used all the way up. Um, so these are products that are empty. I've got a lot of skincare, I've got a lot of hair care, just all kinds of stuff, body, bath stuff. So, let's get into it. I'm like hungry. And you know when you're hungry and you're at that level where you're like, like, I don't know, like I just need to eat something, but like we don't have anything to eat and I don't feel like making anything. Like I feel like a kid right now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, first thing I'll mention is this Garnier Skin Active Gentle Sulfate Free Cleanser. We just kept this in the shower and Tyler, my husband and I um, kind of used this off and on until it was used up. I think it's nice. I don't think I need to buy it again. I feel like it was gentle. It was a very fuss-free formula, but I love my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser so much that I'm like, I'd rather spend a couple dollars more on that than buy this again, but I do think it was fine. Tyler said it was fine too. But if you are looking for just like a very gentle cleanser, I think that one is good. I used up this Basin Bath Party product. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. You know when you're hungry and you start making no sense. Um, this Basin Bath Salts. I go to Basin when we're in Disney. There's a Basin White in the Grand Floridian Resort. And then there's just the Basin store in Disney Springs. And so I go in there a lot. And my favorite scent of their bath salts is the Satsuma. And now I'm out. It is, oh my gosh, it is the best smell in the freaking world. Ever, 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 ever. So we're going to Disney here very soon, so I'll have to pick some more up. I've gone through, I didn't save all of them. I've gone through many of these little things because I use like a third, a third, and a third. That's three baths right there. I used to use less, but I'm like, you know what, Jessica, if you're going to do it, do it hard. And I don't get baths as much as I used to now that I have a baby because I just don't have the time. So now I'm like, I'm going to make this worth my while. <laughs> I use up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. I, again, don't use them on my face very much. I use them for swatches and things like that. I don't buy these. I know a lot of you guys are like, why do you waste those on swatches? Why, do you, why don't you just use my cellar water? When they're sent to me, I still use them up because I do tons of swatching, both for videos and in real life. So they're just so quick and easy for me. But, um, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be spending the money on them. Does that make sense? Back to the wipes. I think these are... Fine. I think they're good. They wipe off makeup. I don't think they were the greatest at wiping off makeup, which is interesting. Um, with a name like Bye Bye Makeup, you'd think they'd be like killer. I like waterproof makeup, and I don't think it did a great job with that. So. This I would repurchase. This is the Verb Ghost Oil. A lot of you guys recommended this when I was asking for a hair oil recommendation. And boy, I blew through this, but it's very lightweight. Like even when you have the bottle full, even the bottle is lightweight. That's how lightweight the oil is. It's noticeable. But it's, I think, under $15, and which is not drugstore prices, but it's not like crazy salon prices either. It's kind of right in between. And I'm sure I bought it on Sephora Ulta's website, probably Sephora. But I just squirt like three squirts in my hand, run it like this, and then I flip my hair over and I run it through my hair, and it helps to detangle my hair. It helps to tame frizzes as it's drying. I'll use this when I'm just letting my hair air dry, but I'll also use it when I'm gonna heat dry it. So I pretty much use it all the time. Next up, I always have these in my empties videos. This is the Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray. It adds shine, it tames frizz, it smells amazing. It can add just a little bit of touchable hold to your hair, but like you can still comb your fingers through it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I use it virtually every day. Usually it'll take me about two months to go through one of these, sometimes three months. Because when I'm air drying my hair, I don't use it very much. And I've been air drying my hair a lot. So sometimes it'll take a little bit longer. But my favorite hairspray of all time. I finished up the May Love the Day Eraser Face Cleansing Oil. This was sent to me back when they sent me their oil that I love. But this I thought was nice, but it's not my favorite. There's still a little bit left. I might try to get that last little bit out maybe today when I take my makeup off. It removes makeup just fine, but it's just not my preferred I mean, I like cleansing oils actually a lot, but I prefer a cleansing balm. But cleansing oils are fine, but I just felt like this, the pump wasn't as easy to use. And I don't know, I just wasn't as big of a fan of this. I thought it was okay. Oh my gosh, this one I need to repurchase. And it's pricey, because I'm like, I really want it again, but it's so much money. It's the Alginist Power Recharging Night Press Serum. It's a serum, but it's more like in cream form. It's really weird, but it smells like Main Street USA and Disney. And it's just like a very sweet, almost bakery smell. I know that sounds weird, but it's not like so sweet. It like you're like, oh, it's gagging me. It's a beautiful scent. And really, fragrance and sand care is not usually ideal, but there's, I just, I'm like, I don't even care. I love this smell so much. But I feel like every time I put it on my skin, my skin is like, thank you. 
Like it drinks it up. It's doing something wonderful. When I use it at night, which I would usually use this pretty much every single night before my moisturizer, I feel like it just, I wake up in the morning, my skin just looks so healthy. Okay, this is one that I feel like has gone bad and that's why I'm getting rid of it. It's probably about two thirds gone. So there's like a third left. It's the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. This is a cult classic. Um, if you can find it, like I bought mine on Amazon. Um, it's got SPF of 50. It is, it's basically just an SPF moisturizer, but it's a very thin, I'll show it to you, but it's changed colors. And that's why I was like, mm, and it kind of smells a little funky. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going to risk wearing expired SPF if it's not going to work. You know what I mean? Um, but it's a very thin consistency and it doesn't make your skin. It's very watery almost, but it doesn't make your skin look oily at all. It's the craziest thing. And that's why I think it's become such a cult classic because you can put makeup on top of it and it really doesn't affect the way your makeup looks at all. And yet it's such a high protection factor. So, or it has such a high sun protection factor. So I really, really love that. I will probably buy that again. Right now I'm working through my pharmacy uh, SPF that I really, really like. I can link below, but if that ran out or when that runs out, I could totally see myself buying that again. Ah, speaking of pharmacy, I finished up their Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. I really liked this, but I don't think it's worth the price tag. Again, I mentioned the cleanser I like that's from the drugstore. And so I get a lot of these kinds of cleansers that I'm like, oh, I bet it's great. And I thought it was just fine. It's just not my favorite. I could see myself not buying it again. I love the pharmacy do, what is it called? It's like their green dew spray. What do they call that? Oh, it's called their Skin Dew Essence, and you spray it on, and that is my favorite product from this brand, but this one was not a favorite. I, ah, this stuff was fantastic. This is the Diva Curl, Diva Curl Build Up Buster. It's their Micellar Water Cleansing Serum. So what I would do, and I want to see if I was even doing this right. Yeah, it says just to use it weekly or as needed in place of your regular cleanser. So it's basically a really potent shampoo. And so it does a great job of really stripping the crap and gunk out of your hair. And that's why they, you know, it can be kind of drying and that's why they say, you know, use it weekly. Cause if you use it every day or every shower, it'd be a little bit too much and maybe too drying. But boy, this gets the crap out of my hair. When I wear my hair curly-ish or, I mean, I'm, I've always got crap in my hair and this gets it out of it. It is amazingly squeaky clean. I need to get, I'm assuming this is not the full size. I need to get the full size of this. Totally would recommend. And it's, from the brand Deva Curl, you don't have to just have curly hair to use this. This stuff is incredible. I used up bio oil. I know it's controversial for some people, but that's what I use throughout my pregnancy. And um, as I'm getting back to my, po you know, I'm postpartum, like four months, um, getting back to that shape, gosh, almost five months, I've been using bio oil as well, and I really like it. Uh, this one is the Anami ACE Illuminating Eye Treatment. It's something kind of like a moisturizer serum. Um, it's definitely gone bad. There's only a little bit left, um, but you put it on your under eye and it's got vitamins A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, hence the name. But it is a little bit brightening. Oh, it smells funky now. It smells almost vinegary, so it's definitely gone bad. But I really enjoyed this when I had it. I need to get a new one because I do think, I don't use this in place of concealer, but because it does have that kind of brightening effect, I do like to blend it there let it sink in, and then a few minutes later put my concealer on because I feel like it just kind of brightens the area before I put the coverage on it, and it looks really, really nice. Used up another of my toothpaste. This is the Sensodyne Pro Namel Gentle Whitening. I buy this at Costco. It's like a, I want to say a four or five pack of them, and I really like it. I have sensitive teeth, and I have not very strong enamel no matter what I do. I think I was born with it. My family, great teeth does not necessarily run in my family. So I'm trying to do my best to take care of it because I used to use the Crest 3D White and I feel like it was just too harsh for my teeth. I think it did a great job whitening it, but it was just a little bit harsh. So I've been using this for months and months now and I really like it. I think I'm on my last one, so I need to buy another big pack from Costco, but highly recommend if you have any teeth sensitivity or just not great enamel. Like I would get cavities so easily, both as a kid and as an adult, and this has helped so much. Oh yes, I go through sheet masks a decent amount. I wish I used them more, but um, again, it's finding the time, right? But uh, this, <laughs> I put this one in here specifically because I usually just throw them away because most sheet masks are so similar. So if one is, it kind of stands out to me, that's when I'll actually save the wrapper. And this was one that stood out. It's from number seven. It's their Restore and Renew Face and Neck Multi-Action 
mask. So it comes with one mask and it you put it on. The mask itself was fine, but it was the actual, okay, the, it was the actual mask that made me giggle. So it has these loops. So you put the mask on and then there's these loops that hook behind your ear. And then there's also this part that folds so it goes over your neck as well. And I thought, wow, like this is like really something. <laughs> It's like really getting your neck, all of it, which I thought was great because, of course, our necks age just like our face does. I mean, all of our skin ages. So I thought that was really cool, but the loops, it was so hard to get everything to stay. Like, the loops kind of worked, but then the neck stuff would constantly kind of flap open and I'd be putting <laughs> back down. I mean, I couldn't do anything while I was wearing it. A lot of times I'll, you know, maybe edit a video or do some other things. Sometimes I'll get a bath while wearing a mask, but I couldn't do any of those with this. It was crazy. So... If you really are concerned about your neck as well, I think this is a great option. Just know that you can't move around or do anything with this on. <laughs> okay, next one. Boy, I fly through these. These are the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solutions. These really work if you have sore muscles. Epsom salt is amazing for that. You can buy just plain Epsom salt. Like I know my mom just buys plain, but I like the ones with little um, scents to them. So this has eucalyptus and spearmint. It's more relaxing. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one I've gotten. I think they have a sleep version that has like lavender in it. And I really like that one as well. So definitely recommend. I love that it's got, I feel like I'm always talking about the same products in empties videos, but um, it's got like a uh, Velcro at the top, which I think is genius for that kind of packaging. Um, so this is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And this is the waterproof version. I actually ended up falling in love with the original non-waterproof version. I just don't wear waterproof mascara, so this ended up drying out before I could use it up, and I'm like, and it was sent to me. I wouldn't have bought it because, again, I don't use waterproof mascara, but I, I don't know where we were. Were we, like, at a waterproof, somewhere where I was like, oh, I need a waterproof mascara, so I opened it, and now I wish I hadn't because it ended up drying out. I could have donated or given it to someone else, so I kind of feel very, really, like, I'm full of regret about it, but I really like the original Monster Big mascara it takes about a week or two to get to the consistency I like, but once it's there, I love it. Another product I use before and after pregnancy, well, during and after pregnancy, it's the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Mommy Stretch Mark Buttercream. This was my favorite moisturizer. It had this grittiness to it. There's still a little bit and it's turned like bright yellow. It smells like pistachios. It smells amazing, but it has this grittiness to it because of the raw shea butter in it, but it it's, it kind of melts at the touch of your, you know, the temperature of your skin. And it is so moisturizing. I really think it made a big difference. I only got, I got a few stretch marks and they're really, really small. And I like to think that bio oil and this are to thank for that. Again, they say those are hereditary. I don't know. Like my sister got a bunch of them, but my mom didn't get any. So I'm like, well, I don't know what to do with that information. Anyway. Um, but I totally recommend that. I would honestly use it even not pregnant. I could see myself buying that again just for myself because it smells amazing and it's so moisturizing. Okay, so this is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream from Sunday Riley. There's some interesting uh, beef with Sunday Riley. Um, check my Twitter out if you want to see more about it. And I know that um, Samantha Robindahl has talked a lot about this on her Twitter as well. Actually, that's how I found out about all of this. So I'm kind of feeling leery of this brand right now. I don't know. Look it up. I don't want to get into it because it's going to turn into a whole big thing. But anyway, this Tidal Cream, I think they'd sent to me. I wasn't a big fan. The smell of it really turned me off. I can't believe I used it up. It smells like cucumbers and cucumbers make me like ill. I don't know what it is. I think it's because my sister used the cucumber melon moisturizer from Bath & Body Works too much when we were kids and we shared a room. And ever since then, I'm like, I cannot do the smell. This is a very strong smell, but I just felt like for my dry skin, it wasn't moisturizing enough. Um, and I didn't really notice the brightening effect either. So this was not a product I really enjoyed anyway. Used up again, one of these. I'm almost done with my other one as well, but it's the Clear Care Contact Solution. Um, it's It really cleans my contact lenses. It is the best I've ever found because I've had a lot of trouble. You know, you get makeup on them. This gets it all off. It is amazing. Another thing I've used up is the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. They have different packaging now. Thank goodness, because I hated this packaging. I can't see, I couldn't see how much I had, which showed me crazy, which I guess that's true for a lot of skincare. But regardless of that, you had to push the back 
and it would push the product through. And I just, I don't know. I don't know why did that bother me, but it's a different um, one now because actually Tyler is using this, but in the new packaging, I thought it was pretty nice. I don't, I don't feel like it made a huge difference. Again, under eyes are so tricky because we're all, you know, that's where you first notice signs of aging typically. And certainly where I've noticed it first. And I don't think this was like a miracle worker. I am working on a drunk elephant review video because I've been using a lot of their skincare for a, quite a while. So I actually think I'm gonna take this, even though it's empty and put it somewhere else so that I have it to show when I do that video. But that's not my favorite drunk elephant product. I can certainly say that. Another basin empty one. This was, I think, like the vanilla sand or something like that. It smells really, really nice. One of their bath salts. All right, so continuing on, this is the e.l.f. makeup remover pen. I love it so much. It's $3. You literally, it's got makeup remover in it so you can clean up winged liner. Like literally earlier today, I was doing lip swatches and I literally got lipstick all over and I used this and it cleaned up the lipstick instantly. It is amazing. It's like three bucks. And I replace it every few months. I don't use it every single time I get ready, but I do use it a lot. And then this I used up. It's the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works. I actually bought this a few years ago, maybe two years ago. It smells amazing. Um, and I, I like having this size in my purse, but I've downsized to a smaller purse. And really, I'm typically using just the diaper bag we have. Um, and so I don't really have anything like this in there anymore. I don't really miss it, but now that winter's coming... Um, I feel like I should probably put a hand cream in there, but I do like the Bath and Body Works ones, but I'm kind of leaning towards maybe more natural ingredients than what they have. Not to be a snob, but, and I still like them. And if someone bought them for me, I would still use them. Cause like my favorite scent is the Vanilla Bean Noel scent. Oh my gosh. It only comes out at Christmas. It is the best smell ever. <laughs> I used this up and I've already repurchased it. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's in like the berry scent or whatever. Um, Smells amazing. I put it on my lips as though it's just a lip balm and I always use it at night. I used to use it during the day, but then one of you guys brought up that it's more, you know, it's kind of chemically exfoliating a little bit and I probably shouldn't use it all the time. And I was like, I never thought about that. So I, I only use it at night and it is amazing. My lips wake up, like I wake up in the morning, my lips are like plump and ready to go for the day. It's amazing. And lastly is, I'm not gonna open it because there's a little bit of shattered in there. The Wet n Wild Single Shadow Shadow in Brulee. I've already repurchased this as well. It's a light beige shadow that I use to do my brow bone. I'll set my entire eye with it before I put other eyeshadow on. It is amazing, so pigmented, and it's like two dollars. That's something that is a staple in my collection that I will always have. That's it. There's the end of it. Um, so. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy my empties videos. If you want to see my most recent one, I will link it down below. But otherwise, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.